Java obviously was uh, very very popular at Sun. Um, what was the uh, how how closely were hardware decisions made uh, with Java in mind? Do you know the story how Java started? Originally, I don't. it happened very early at Sun. Um, okay. Some of the early there were very few hardware people at Sun. I was like the third hardware designer at Sun when I joined in '84. Um, but one of the other hardware guys, you know, was kind of burned out. <laughs> It was easy to burn out, you know, yeah. Right. Um, working around the clock. Um, he f just went off and said, you know, we have so many remote controls in our house, you know, the audio, the TV, this and that. Let's design a universal remote control. <laughs> so they formed their own little group, and it was called Oak at the time. And they, well, oh, we need a language for it. Oh, we need an operating system for an operating environment for it. Right. And so they designed both those. And, um, Later, Wayne Rosing went around and, what are you guys doing? Because he started the first Sun Labs and, what have you, what have you got here? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Right. So he wanted to cancel it. But Bill Joy came in and said, oh, this is just perfect for the web now. And they renamed it Java. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it just, it was Bill Joy's intervention that, and he realized they could all be ported. You know, Gosling had done a great job uh, defining the, the, the language and the runtime environment and it was all done on the side you know for a different purpose and uh, wow. Bill just re repurposed it and uh, it's just the right timing uh, like many things uh, Bill did 